Hey everyone, we have Feifei Q here, who is a program manager on the field service product who specializes in automated scheduling, which is a product known as resource scheduling optimization. And today Feifei wants to talk about a new feature that's going to be released in the October 2020 wave that allows resource scheduling optimization to schedule travel time outside of a resource's working hours. So Feifei, can you tell us a little bit about the feature and why uh, you decided to create it? Hi, David. Hi, everyone. Um, yeah, today we're going to talk about a lot of travel outside working hour feature. As many of you guys know about RSO, we have a whole bunch of optimizing constraint and objective. One of the optimizing constraint we call schedule within working hour. After we enable this constraint, what system does is system makes sure schedule both travel time and work time within resource working hour. And for example, I have pre-run RSO uh, before the meeting. As you can see, I, uh, for my technicians, their working hours start 8 a.m. in the morning and finish 5 p.m. in the afternoon. And for all their day, they start traveling 8 a.m. and for 10 or 15 minutes and arrive customer site, start work. By the end of the day, and they have enough time to make sure they're able to travel back to their home location. And this is what current RSO has once we enable this working hour constraint. But we have different customers, they have different travel policies. For example, in some organization, technicians are only paid for their actual work time and business doesn't care how technician get to their work location, meaning beginning of the day is beginning of the work or resource can travel up to uh, 30 minutes or 60 minutes and per their limit and uh, arrive customer set. So based on all these different travel policies, and uh, we enable this a lot of travel outside working hour feature in our product. So let me show you how we can achieve this in the system. First, uh, we need to disable schedule within working hour constraint. Let's go ahead, disable this one, save and publish. So on top of that, we have some setting on individual resource level. Let's open David and his scheduling profile and we can pick allow travel before working hour and or allow travel after work hour. This is a multi-select, we can select one or multiple. And also on top of this setting, we can specify travel limit. In this case, we are specify 30 minutes as David travel limit before his working day and after his working hour. So let's go ahead run optimization to see how system respect these parameters. All right, so while system is optimizing, I will share a bit more about the parameter on resource level. So let me go back the resource view. As you can see, I have multiple resources in the optimization scope and both David and Edgar has enabled travel before and after working hour configuration uh, with 30 minutes travel, uh, 30 minutes as the travel limit. But I have look and for his scheduling profile, we didn't configure anything. Meaning even though on optimization schedule level, we disable scheduling within working hour constraint, but look still start traveling from 8 a.m. because we didn't configure any setting on his uh, outside working hour configuration. So the system still respect his working shift for both travel and working hour. All right, let's go back and check this one. So I accidentally trigger optimization twice. And let me go ahead, apply change for this one. Okay, let's go back schedule board. 
and this head. So, all right. As you can see, after optimization and for different results based on their configuration system, able to have research travel and before the working hour. And for David, his first booking travel is 60 minutes within his limit. And the beginning of the day is beginning of the work. For Edgar, and his travel time is 37 minutes, is beyond his limit. So basically, 7.30, he start traveling, and there's still seven minutes, and he will use his working time, continue traveling until he arrive customer side. If you remember for look, we didn't configure anything on his resource level. And for him, he still start traveling at 8 a.m. in the morning and continue uh, arrive customer. And so that's how system handle the constraint and also respect different setting on individual resource level. So to summarize this feature, travel outside working hour allow company define flexible travel policies. And also it improves resource utilization. And let's take a look. If you remember before we enable travel outside working hour feature, and for David and Edgar, they have less booking scheduled for their day. But after we enable this feature, and both of them able to take one more booking for their day, highly improve their resource utilization over the day. And this is a quick chart to show you how the travel time and working hour compare look like before two optimization uh, schedule. All right, so that's a high level overview about this feature.